What's up everybody, Alex here and welcome to this match of Dota Underlord Standard. We're throwing these guys on the board because why not? Let's take that Savage bonus, let's start nice and fast. I'm going to take Legion Commander as well, as much as I would like to take uh, Venomancer. We're not going to do a Venomancer based build, I don't think, to start. Um, there's so many builds I want to try here, so many builds. Let's see what RNG throws our way here. Um, I've been having so much uh, success with Druids, I almost want to keep trying Druids, but... But I think it's time we try something a little different. Uh, even though druids have been so damn good to me, I think I want to try something a little, uh, little different here. So what are we doing here? You know what? I've been interested in trying my uh, my assassin spirit and uh, warrior builds. I'm also interested in doing, um, you know, any anything with assassins. I kind of want to try assassins. I kind of want to try assassins. Uh, holding on to legion commander because the legion commander bloodbound and uh, synergies along those lines are still pretty damn good. Oh, the ogre cap. I don't think I want to chase that. I don't think I want to chase that dream right now. No, 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 no. Let's take, uh, let's take Chainmail. Yeah, we'll take Chainmail. We'll actually put Chainmail up on Nyx. We'll put Nyx up front. Look at this. Okay. We take the Warriors. We're going to put him on the bench for now. Let's actually do this. Who do we want the armor on? Let's put it on the Tusk because Tusk is a finisher. I almost want to hold on to uh, those razors as well. You know, I might get rid of Nyx here. You know what? No, I'm getting rid of Legion. I'm getting rid of you, Legion Commander. Let's see how we do this fight here. We got the two razors. Got that warrior bonus. Oh, yeah, you're barely doing any damage, friends. Feels bad, doesn't it? And our, uh, our tusk with that armor, he's pretty tanky. Tusk has uh, a lot of uh, HP. Decent amount there. Thousand? I'll take it. More than someone like Slardar, even. Come on, let's get the dub here. All these Primordials. Actually, I kind of want to lose. It'd be great if we lost here, actually. If the Primordials gave us a, a no damage loss, that'd be perfect. Yep, we're going to lose. Let's take this free reroll here. Yes! We have to do this. Alright. Where's the music? Why is the music gone? Why is it so quiet? But, mm, okay, let's take... No, I don't want to have to sell anybody. No! Alright, we'll do this. Got a free reroll that I can't even really use. Uh, well, Tusk, we peeled off Tusk here, because are we going to do mages? Three mages? Did we try six mages again? I just tried six mages, and it was good. But I think the, uh, three, the three mage spirit build, it's just, it's so damn good. We can even go, uh, you know, void assassins with that, too. I'm thinking. Got that two-star razor, I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. McDonald's uh, should uh, should sponsor me. Actually, Adidas should sponsor me. I get comments all the time about Adidas sponsoring me. And I agree. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. I do agree. Um, I might get rid of the Tiny here. We'll take the Pudge. We don't have enough money for Pudge. We don't have enough money for Pudge. Alright. Alright. We'll do this for now. Another Razor. Another Razor. We'll hold on to Razor here. Do I actually put Razor up front with the armor? No, I don't think that's the right call. Now, the one thing about armor, so we have 17 armor on our Earth Spirit. Armor has a bit of a diminishing return, so like someone like Pudge, who has very high HP, but, uh, you know, 5 armor, really benefits from Chainmail. It really uh, amplifies his survivability. With the, uh, the Earth Spirit, it helps, make no mistake, but it's better on someone like Pudge. Because the 7 additional armor helps Pudge more than it helps the um the earth spirit now we're gonna get the dub here it's a good win oh it's close actually is this tusk gonna finish us off or what he's gonna uppercut everybody here another uppercut he's, we're missing oh it's because of the uh, the insects there so one damage that's actually an ideal loss for him we don't want any of these guys right now here um let's see three warriors three spirits Three mages. I think I like that. Now we could go blink dagger. I like blink dagger, mainly for someone like the uh, the amber spear. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. 
In the comments section in the last time I played Spirits, they suggested, Alex, don't shy away from taking Blink Dagger on your Spirits. Look at that. And that's why. Right there. Beautiful. I love it. You guys, the comments section always steering me in the right direction. How could I ever doubt you guys? I never will doubt you guys. You guys are just too damn fantastic. What's everyone else doing here? We got some spirits here. Hey, that's me. Uh, we got some mages down here. Spirits not seeing a lot of contention right now, which is good. No contention on spirits. Very minor with your spirit. He's just such a good tank there. People can just run him as a tank. Ooh. That, uh, that's pretty rough. Oh! They moved right into the line of fire of that Delta Slam. Wow! That worked out wonderfully well. But those cast by Razor, they did not hit the mark here. Thankfully, we got some good units in our spirits here who are giving us the dub. We're on fire. He's heating up. That is fantastic. We're going to hold on to Enigma. Do I hold on to Enigma? No. I don't think I hold on to Enigma. I'm referencing my build of the week. Three mage, three warrior, three spirit. And I don't think I run Enigma. I could. But next one in has to be a mage. Next one in has to be a mage. So we're going to skip on the Enigma here. Queen is a damn good unit with mages. You know what? I might actually hold on to Queen here for a sec. I might actually play Queen. Oh, I can't play Queen instead of a uh, Storm Spirit. Can't do that. Can't do that. I would like to have Queen in. Maybe we level up to 30 here. Not 30. <laughs> we level up to 5 soon. Now the nice advantage of this uh, this build here is that realistically we can run on Razor and uh, Crystal Maiden being 2 stars. We would have to re-roll at 5 pretty aggressively. Come on. Come on. There it is. Good Delta Slam. Oh, that was not as good. That was like actually the worst Delta Slam possible in that situation. Which is a little unfortunate. We might get another one off here. Come on. Earth Spirit survive. No. No, he didn't survive. So we're going to take the L here against Mr. Hulk Go Blub. <laughs> Hulk Go Blub. Good win, my friend. I'm getting the fail sauce there. All right, so the win streak's over. I'm kind of sad, but I think it's okay. We'll be okay, guys. We'll find a way. One inch. We're gonna, you know, what? I'm sacrificing a point of interest here because now we have a chance of two starring several units with this reroll. Let's see it. Yes, that's why we do that. That's why we do that. Um, I sacrificed the interest there, but we ended up picking up a two-star uh, Earth Spear, which is really going to help us with our uh, with our tanking up front. Now, there's a Juggernaut there. I don't think Jug's the right hero for this. If we want to go quick three uh, Warriors, we can add Jug, but I think the, uh, the Spear's going to be more beneficial here. Ironically, it's the Storm Spirit really slowing us down here. We're not going to get a Delta Slam because Ember's already down, but hopefully Razor gets another cast here. How much damage did, uh, Earth Spirit tanked a lot of damage there. Unfortunately, we're going to lose this. But, um, a decent little effort there from Citizen Dane. Might take the level here. I think we do take the level. I think we have to, because we have to finish that mage bonus. Let's see our reroll. What do we get? And no one useful for the time being. So what we're going to do here, we're going we're gonna to tap into our level up here. It keeps us above the threshold for the interest. The next one in, I think Queen is stronger. But with a two-star uh, two Razor, I think we definitely want to get that Mage bonus going. Uh, Maiden's not as good as Queen, but we want that, uh, that Mage bonus. Because especially with this setup, you're going to see the amount of damage that Razor is capable of outputting. Come on, get those casts off. Get Oh! Ember's dead already. No, he's not. He just hasn't casted. That's why we give you the Blink Dagger, fool. There we go. There we go. Good cast. Spirits, man. I'm telling you, if you want to rank up, Spirits, it's the way to go. So we got multiple two-stars here. Uh, we could benefit from re-rolling a little bit because we're one away from two-star uh, Storm. We're one away from two-star Maiden. Well, two away from two-star Ember, of course. Oh, one away. Whoops. I've done that before. I've left guys on the, uh... Alright, so what do we do here? I like Desolator for Ember Spirit, but... What do our kills look like here? Let's do a quick roll here. What do we get? Oh, another Blink Dagger. I'll take Blink Dagger. This is silly. Maiden. Two stars. Thank you, Miss Maiden. Welcome, Miss Maiden. We do appreciate your support. She has a really far attack range, by the way, so being in the back is actually kind of beneficial for her. Uh, we're going to get some quick 
spirit synergy here. I kind of want to roll one here. Let's roll one. Yes! That's why we do that! Guys, that's why we do that. Um, I saw that, just to explain to some of the newer players, uh, basically I saw that we were going to stay at uh, the, uh, the two interest threshold anyways. We had the money to spare, so I figured, you know what, we're one away from Ember Spirit, we may as well give it a shot, and now we absolutely truck this guy. That's a big win. Big win. And you know what? It feels good. It feels good. That's a good win. Uh, and it goes to show you, right, like, using the economy intelligently is very important. We leveled on the, uh, the, the five uh, experience points, just so it's a nice, smooth transition in. And then what we did is we took an eye, uh, keep an eye on the, our interest threshold. Remember, at 10, you get one additional. At 20, you get another. Hmm. Hobgen, is it, is it your game? Is it you, Hobgen? I, I like Jip. Hobgen. You got to look at some who wants to Gotta go Hobgen here. Hobgen's the man. We're gonna protect him, though. We're gonna put him in the corner like this. Um, do we... No, I, you know, I might set up like this. The Templar. Not really what I'm looking for here. I don't think we go voids. I don't see any brawnies. No one's going brawnies. We have Citizen Dane going knights. So, we might be able to dodge having to go voids here. Come on. Good Delta Slam. Keep Hobgen alive. Hobgen, don't die. Hobgen, don't die. No, Hobgen's dead. I'm so sad. I'm so damn sad, but we're going to get another win here. Because, again, Spirit's carrying us. Ember carrying us. Now, Ember, uh, I might actually hold on to... I'm holding on to Templar for a second here. Voids, I don't think, is the right call here. We could... If we get, like, very good RNG for Voids, we take it. Look at this. I'm the only one running uh, Friendly Fire Ember. Oh, no! Friendly Fire... <laughs> Friendly Fire Hobgen. We got someone else doing two of the mages, of course. He's a very good mage hero. This guy's going Brutes, though. Very interesting. I'm actually going to get rid of our brute because I'm not going six, I'm not going six, uh, mages here. So we're at 40. Mages really benefits from leveling. We're only really after the storm spirit. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to punch into leveling here. We take the level in the next round probably, or we level in two rounds to get to six. Problem is some people are aggressively pushing to six. You got to keep an eye on what other people are doing. I don't know what this guy's doing. 43 gold. That's a little much here. We're on fire. Come on. Get a good Delta Slam here. Let's go. Good Delta Slam. There it is. I know dodged a lot of damage there. But, um, Cobian, come on. There's Friendly Fire. Someone rezzed. Uh, their Earth Spear rezzed, actually. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. And, uh, Blink Dagger can continue to cast. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ember. Slight of fist. No, look at those guys. Oh, they were almost down. They were almost down. So Io won that guy the match with that clutch res. So I'm just thinking here, do we re-roll? We already have the two-star razors. If we had Razor and Maiden, like a ton of them on the bench, then I would stick at five to re-roll because of the tier one uh, unit opportunities. We're going to take Slardar here. From the deep take our free. Another Earth. You know what? I'm going to take a roll here. And that's exactly what I wanted. That was exactly what I wanted. So now this is a really good lineup. Everyone's two stars. We're approaching... Uh, there's a few units we can potentially move to three stars with. I don't realistically think that we... Oh, Hobgen got destroyed there. That was destructive for their Hobgen. This guy's doing a similar build to me, except... Uh, actually, no, he's not. He's got a... He had spirits, he had Wind Ranger. I wasn't really paying it. What is Eddie doing? Eddie, what are you doing over here? You got two vig Vigilant. I don't know what, what Eddie's after right now. Eddie's confused. Eddie's confused. We're going to take the level the next round here. So as you can see, what I did, I leveled up. You're going to get an additional XP point. We're going to be level six next round. If I was hunting for the uh, the tier one units, I would be re-rolling right now. Because take a look. So the tier one unit odds at 35% at level five, but they drop 10 full percent at level six. So if you're after tier one units like Maiden and Razor, you need to make sure that you level at that point. I'm going to take the Octarine here. I'm taking Octarine. I'm going to give it to... Razor or the Maiden? It's five seconds. 
10. I think I'm going to... Ooh, Ursh... Oh, Void Spirit. Yes, Void Spirit's in. Void Spirit's here. I might actually... Octarine here. Chainmail here. Might do this. Let's run with this. So I'm going to get rid of the two assassins, I think. They're not really part of my strategy overall. Because next one in... I mean, we could we could add Slardar. We want Slardar, Slardar and Tidehunter. Like we're just destroying these guys. Yeah, let's get rid of these guys. We're not running. We're not running those assassins. Um, How about I give you a little boom shuckle? So I think we got to. Uh, I think we got to run the assassins. Not the assassins. We were looking for the warriors. Yeah, those assassins don't make sense. They're not the next ones in. They are not the next ones in. All right. Don't mind me, just clicking on my second screen there. Okay, we're back. We're back in action. Okay. Had to make sure my audio was recording. Um, I might actually take the level here, honestly. Get super aggressive. Because we have... Look at, look at our board right now. I am. I'm taking the level. I'm putting another Earth on. Now, you may be thinking, Alex, that's crazy. But remember, I probably should have swapped the two. Let him blow up first, then let him lock green over and over again. But hey, whatever. Mistakes were made. Let's get that early. Come on, there it is. Delta Slam. Oh, they walked right into it. There's the Hobgen cast. Stay alive, Hobgen. We're going to get another uh, Delta Slam here. Come on, another Delta Slam. Oh, yeah. Good job. Good Delta Slam. That was beautiful. Wow, that was garbage. Absolute garbage. That was... What is this? What is this thing on my screen? It's gone. But yeah, that uh, that Delta Slam was not, not good. That was bad. Really bad, actually. Uh, but we are... In good position right now. We're level 7. We're on fire. Oh, I almost forgot to the button there. He's heating up. Uh, we're doing a good job. We have a relatively uncontested build. We are uncontested right now, which is going to be a death knell to everyone else. Yeah, the other guy sold off his spirit, his ember. Uh, was that Eddie? Eddie doesn't know what's going on right now. He's got his tide hunter though. Morphling. Oh, Morphling. Now, ideally, we go Morphling over Razor. Might actually make that switch. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Because realistically, here's the thing. Razor's at two stars right now, but it's very unlikely we get him to three stars, especially as we level aggressively. But we don't have him. He's at... Maybe we leave him for now. Maybe we leave him for now, I'm thinking. I do like Morphling better than Razor. Because the thing with Razor's very positional. He has to be in the right spot. He has to be in the right spot. Whereas Morphling is very dynamic. He can move around a bit. We're not going to get the primordial bonus because obviously we're selling off Razor. You know what? I am going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm off Razor. I like Razor, but I'm off. Hold on to Ember. You know what? Yeah, we sell off Razor. No, not yet. We hold on to the uh, we hold on to the the morphling though. If we two star morphling, we get him in. Let's move towards eight. Let's press our advantage here, friends. There's no rush, really. There's no rush. And the thing is, you might think Alex holding on to a slardar here. I do want to get slardar in. I think that the three warriors is important, especially when you get ti uh, tide hunter. If I had tide hunter, I would make sure to get to the three warrior bonus. But in this situation, I'd rather just stack the spirit. Like I'm destroying guys. Like these guys don't even stand a chance. We're just crushing guys. He's heating up. So, I mean, there's no point in for, like, replacing Slardar with the Earth Spirit doesn't make sense right now. Usually you want variety, but with, with Spirits, having the additional Spirits, it benefits you because they're just, they're casting more Delta Slams. Um, now, Earth Spirit's great if you, um, if you're against other mages because of the, uh, because the, the silence effect, right? But, um, in this case, I don't want to put Ember Spirit on. He's a bad additional Spirit because he takes so long to cast. Um, but if he gets a really good item, okay, so here I think we go Blade Mail. We could get, we could look at this, guys, are, oh, maybe we re-roll. Yeah, I'm re-rolling. BKB, yeah, we take BKB here. We give it to Razor for the time being. BKB on the Ember would be a good idea, too. Fires of conflict burn. All right, we go towards leveling. Next round, we push. See, we'll be at 25. 
So two, uh, two level investments will get us right to level eight. It's the uh, best use of our economy. Right now, we're doing pretty good. Our net worth is 169, so we're in the middle of the pack. We only have two people beating us with net worth, but we got the health, right? That's key. Uh, oh, Hulk, go bub. This guy can beat us. Let's see what happens here. He's got a good front line here, and he's cornered slightly. It's going to be hard to peel him away. Um, Ember went down, so... Oh, no! So we're not going to get a Delta Slam here, so we're going to have to fight just on our own merits here. Hobgen, get that cast off. Get that cast off. So this guy beat us before with the uh, the IO res. And he's going to beat us again, unfortunately. But, oh, he didn't go down. Oh, another IO res. Oh, no. Nine damage. So Hulk Go Blub has been beating us lately. But it's okay because I think we can get him overall. The problem is if I know late game we're going against Hulk Go Blub over and over again, what I'll do is I'll position myself back, force him into the center, and what we'll do is we'll finish him that way. I'm actually going to rotate these two like this. No, like this. I want to bait them into the center a bit. Okay. Now we're at eight. No. So we're, we're not going to use the free reroll here. Next unit in. I might actually put another Earth Spirit. Three Earth Spirits! Alex, you absolute anarchist. That's sometimes the way the game rules, my friends. Sometimes you got to be crazy. Be successful. Three Earth Spirits. And I didn't put them there because I want to beat the teams that they seem to be positioned there. And of course they're positioned here. Ah, man. Let's see what the Delta Slam looks like here. Oh, he's dead. He's stunned. No, he's dead again. That did not work out well at all. We might lose this. Some bad RNG with those Delta Slams. Oh, the clutch heal on Luna. She ends up going down, but... One more, one more, come on. Maiden, one more. Oh, no. So we're taking damage here, but it's okay. We're still in good position. We're taking Void. We're taking our free reroll here. We're taking Keeper. Yes, Keeper in. Uh, this guy's out. Keeper positioned like this. Take the roll. Take the roll. That is what I'm talking about. So we're going to take the Void. Now, I'm going to stay. I'm not going to take the Ember here. Actually, you know what? I am taking Ember. I am taking Ember. Uh, double Ember here like this. Him up here. Let's... We'll do this. Now you may be thinking, Alex, that's weird. But if there's a Pudge, I want Pudge pulling the Maiden, not the uh, Keeper. We have Pudges. Yes, we do. We have one. Two. Two Pudges. And that one-star Pudge is enough to mess stuff up. So he's got that Tide Hunter, but he's centrally positioned here. He should get punished. That's it. Delta Slams punish center comps. Absolutely destroy them. The stun on that Keeper, though, really caused problems. We need to get a Sith of the Vise on Keeper here. He's casting way too slowly. So the guy who just beat us is eliminated. See you later. That's good. Double Blink Dagger, Ember, Spirit. Can you guys believe what's happening out there? Beautiful. And I love that because now I might actually not three-star Ember Spirit. We're going to leave him with the Blink Daggers because usually you get like a Battle Fury or something like that on him. And it's a great item for him. It really is. But in this case, oh, see, more Ember Spirits. Can we three-star him? I might actually hold on to him. I'm just saying, I'm not going to three-star Ember Spirit. I might three-star Ember Spirit. Silly Alex. Can never make up his mind. Uh, it's a shame having a BKB on a two-star Razor. I'll tell you that right now. But um, that's where we're in right now. That's, that's the situation we're in. So we lock in our interest. We buy our Void and buy our Ember. Now we're at 29. If we would have won, we would have locked in the interest anyway. Because remember, folks, the way it works is if you're at a 9 and you win, the bonus gold is applied to your interest calculation. Oh, they stepped into that. Let's get another cast here. This guy beat us too. Citizen Dane has been a bit of a problem. Get your cast off. Oh, he's stunned. No. That Hobgen stun was damaging. No. That is so much extra damage. Hobgen would have saved us so much damage there. No. Citizen Dane laying the smackdown on me. Oh, it gives me the cheers. Gives me the cheers. Pure BM. Citizen Dane. All right. Dagon, interesting. We're going to roll. I like the idea of Dagon. Scatty, mech. No, no. These are not good items. Scatty. We take Scatty. Another void. Axe. I have come with my brothers. 
Razor gone, axe in. Razor gone, axe in, axe with BKB. Free reroll. No, nothing. All right. Trying to be creative here. If we can hold that front line a little better. And Axe is a damn good unit. BKB is going to help him survive. Oh, he's dead. BKB is going to help him survive. Maybe we give BKB to Void Spirit. Give Axe the chain. Ah, but chain mill on a 15 armor unit. There we go. Take these guys out. Take that pudge out. Oh. Oh. Okay. Are you kidding me? Did Drow Ranger just not take damage there or what? Like, what happened there? So, BKB over here. Oh, the chainmail on Axe is probably a little overkill. It's definitely overkill, but let's do it. There's Tide. Tide is who we want. Morphling as well. So, we get rid of the Maiden here. I don't... Sardar's only one star. Maybe we just go straight up best available here. Get rid of Slardar. I'm thinking. Do not give in to despair. I'm thinking, because I like the idea that we got Axe. We'll hold on to Morphling for a sec. So these corner comp teams like Citizen Dane are causing us problems. There it is. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, not like that's a horrible Delta Slam. We need to be better than that. And he's going to die, Hobgen. There's another one. It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. So Citizen Dane is really punishing us. The lineup's good, though. It's good healing. Come on, come on. One more ball lightning. No! And he's had some good RNG with those casts. Take the keeper. Hey, give me my board. I need my board. I need my board. Um... We're in a weird position here. Let's see what RNG throws our way. Okay, I'm doing it. Going crazy. I always get in trouble for this. I always get in trouble for this. But here we are. I'm doing it. We need to pull Citizen Dane. So we just played Citizen Dane. So the opportunity to... We're unlikely to play him again. So we're against Hulk of Go Blub, who's another corner composition here. So I think we gotta... Once we go against these guys who are cornered, we need to bait them forward. The problem is, it might put our uh, embers in a situation where they're getting blown up. There's a good stun. There's a... That was a good Delta Slam. I'll take that. Not the best Delta Slam, but we're gonna get this win here. So Hulk... You go boom. How about I give you a little boom shakalaka? Thank you, though. Hulk, you got us last time, but not this time. We're all over you. We're all over you. And he's out, so we're sliding into fifth. We're fighting for fifth place. We should finish in the points here. We economy back up. We might even push to 10. We're looking for Lich, though. Lich would be a great unit. Um, yes. We don't buy him yet. We No, we get rid of... We get rid of the Morphlings. Pick him up. Put him in instead of Tide. Armor over here. Tide, I love you, but I think until you're at two stars, I think I want the additional Delta Slam. So here's Citizen Dane again. Damn it, I wasn't expecting to face him over and over again. It's a weighted system of random, so the more often we face someone, the less often we're going to face them. That's how it works. So it has like a recency bias. If we play against Citizen Dane over and over again, we should be in a situation where we're not against him. Now this time, though, it looks like Hobbin's going to get his cast off. Are we going to hit him or what? It looks like he's still going to beat... Oh, is he going to beat us? It's close. We're... Oh, come on. That's Dazzle. You cheater, Dazzle. Oh, he's got a Scythe of the Vise. Damn it. He might beat us here. At this point of the game, the free rerolls, yeah, sure, they're nice, but... Uh, we kind of need to conserve our health here. Ideally, yes. So two to two loss, that's fine. Two damage, that's okay. I will take that. Um, could we three-star Void? Could we three-star Void? He's uncontested. Ember, uncontested. We got to take Shiva's here. We take Shiva's. Yep, it's Shiva's. Shiva's on the axe. We played Hulk. We played Dane. 
These are good units. They're good units. But not what we're looking for. Okay, we maintain our economy advantage. Let's see. Let's take a look at positioning here. We're going to want to push back a bit, I think. We want to bait them into the center. Even though it hurts our Shivas a little bit here. It's going to hurt our ability to get a good Shiva's guard off. That's a problem. He's a problem. I'm going to switch them like this. In case we get... Mr. Foon. We are against Mr. Foon. Oh, I'm so glad I made that switch. Now, we want to bait them forward a bit. Again, they're going to step into Shiva's at the very least. But we want to position ourselves to take advantage of these Delta Slams. Here's a good one. Oh, come on. Decent Delta Slam. It looks like... Did Trian just not take damage on one of those Delta Slams? I can't tell. Oh, Hobgin. Didn't get the cast. So we're, ta we're taking the L here, unfortunately. We're taking the L. How do we do over here? Can we beat this guy? Hey, game. Oh, we already lost. He already beat us. Okay, I understand now. Still, I think we're doing pretty good here. We can push to 10. Everyone else has blown up their economy. Even Citizen Dane there. Okay, that is something. I'm going to get out the horns because that's a, that's a big RNG play there. Um, Ember Spirit. Now oh, we're close to three-star Ember. Decisions, decisions. Close to three-star Ember. Do I take the three-star Ember? If we get something like a... Like a Bloodthorn, then we put it on Ember. We have to. But the two Blink Daggers, it benefits Ember so much. But it would benefit anybody, any of these spirits, for the immediate cast. So Citizen Dane, we pushed back a little bit here. We have a better Keeper. We don't have the mana generation that we need for Keeper, unfortunately. Um, we could even Blink Dagger Keeper. Oh, that's a horrible Delta Slam. Come on, Keeper, hit him. That's a good cast by Keeper. That's a big cast by Keeper. That's it. How about I give you a little boom shakalaka? I like it. Citizen Dane, you gave us a beating before, my friend, but not today. Not today. And, oh, Mr. Foon eliminated, and we know we can beat Dane. Oh, this guy beat us last time. So he's got a lot of health. We're more than likely to play him because of the weighted system here. There's the tide. We take that. I'm not... Ooh. That is something else right there. Okay, so we almost should... I'm going to roll down. I want to level next round. Okay, someone's going on. Who's going on? It put on another void. I knew someone was going to end up on. That's fine. I wanted the three-star ember. I decided to go three-star ember. We'll give him scatty in this circumstance. Had to make a choice. This guy can beat us, though. His lineup's good. We're against his ghost. He's probably going to defeat Kane here. Yeah, he's beating us 16, so we're facing elimination here. We take the uh, the void here. So what we do is we give Scatty here. We blink. Third place, Citizen Dane's out. We blink both, both voids. Blink both voids. BKB here. No. BKB here. No, Scatty's better. BKB. Void. Lich. No. Okay, hold on. Okay. I wanted more time to think there, but we gotta hit him with- we gotta hit him with the Shivas. The Shivas is required. Come on, oh! Good Disruptor play! No, he might get us! It might be a second place finish for us! No way! Yeah, second place for us! Too much damage for us! But that was a heck of a game! Second place, that ain't bad! That ain't bad. I think I could have positioned a little better on that last fight there, but uh, there's a lot going on. It sucks to lose with that much money as well, but uh, we were in a situation where we ran out a little bit of time, hoping to get one more win so that we can push to 10 or get those levels. Thank you so much for watching, and a very special thank you to all of my wonderful subscribers. Take care, everyone, and have yourselves an absolutely wonderful day.